terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. Look, what did Hunter Biden tell us in describing this? Um, he recorded himself on his laptop, remember? What is the soul of a man with no consequence in sight? That is Joe Biden. And unfortunately, I can't play the audio. It's not working. But um, we've I've played it for you before. Yeah. And of course, we've got these the the videos of the occupant of the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue also groping and handling and sniffing hair of young girls repeatedly that have it, been to the White House. It's at least once a month that he does this to somebody and the photos make it around. I mean, if Trump did this, I can't even imagine. And I mean, here, here's, can you imagine if somebody, if a woman who worked for Trump claimed that Trump raped her and that his people, uh, the government, whoever, I don't know who they are, were harassing her so badly that she couldn't get through another presidential election because of the harassment. And so she has moved to Russia for her personal safety, she says. Yeah. Uh, and just did a press conference from Russia. Tara Reid, uh, former Joe Biden staffer who says he raped her, just did a press conference from Russia to say that she feels the safest she's felt in years because they can't get to her there. And, um, you know, this is a woman who is not one of us. I mean, she voted for Hillary. Um, she is a Democrat through and through. And she says he raped me. And I'm afraid because the harassment won't stop and she doesn't want to go through another election. So she's defected to Russia, which I guess is what you do now. Can you imagine if that identical story was out there about Trump? Yeah. And the cover? Yeah, you know, we know what the coverage would yeah. look like. Oh, because absolutely. The, Be nonstop. The, well, the rape accusation trial that, remember, the woman said he raped, that Trump raped her. Right. And it was round-the-clock coverage. Mm -hmm. And by the way, a, a New York jury, right? New York jury. I mean, majority Democrat found that he didn't rape her and didn't did not award uh, award for that charge. I think they got him on groping her. This was round the clock. Wow. Ra never. And and meantime, you have a woman who says Joe raped her when she worked for him. Defect to Russia in the middle of this kind of tail end of it. But um, and, and it's not news. It's completely blacked out by the mainstream media. It's just the double standard is mm -hmm. astonishing. Yeah. You know, and as if to confirm it all, Trump might talk about groping women in appropriate places. He did. That's his record. It's fact. We got to watch Biden do it yeah. this weekend. And the left and the media's like, yeah, whatever. Fox covered it. Trended all weekend long because it's so in your face. I mean, it's not, you don't, there's no room there for, oh, he might have accidentally brushed her. No, it was a grope. She had a full on pry her, his hands off her. And Jill's standing right there. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.